Welcome to Biofarm International's podcast, Ready for the Future, Trends in Bioprocessing. This podcast is brought to you by the Bioprocess Center of the Eppendorf AG, your expert partner for fermenter, bioreactors, and consumables for bioprocessing. To find out more, please go to www.eppendorf.com slash bioprocess. And now, here's your host for this podcast, the contributing editor for Biofarm International, Kim Decker. Hello, everyone. This is Kim Decker, contributing editor for Biofarm International, and I'm here with Richard Miro. He's business manager at the Bioprocess Center of Eppendorf AG. Thank you for being here today, Richard. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Kim. Well, great. Let's begin. Why don't we start with a question that's probably on the minds of a lot of our listeners today, and that's namely, how can we improve lab productivity as we head into the future? Oh, good question. Thanks, Kim. I think improving the efficiency of laboratories requires the implementation of smarter products. Uh, Within the concept lies the intelligent integration of devices and peripherals, like software and consumables, all of which enable ease of use and optimization across the entire bioprocess workflow. You know, the concept similar to consumer products and how they talk together efficiently and seamlessly. You know, take, take for example, printers. Today, most printers can be plugged in and used almost immediately, regardless as to the type of computer that it's being connected to. And this type of integration is made possible through standardization which allows the various types of equipment to communicate on a common platform. A similar effort is being made in today's bioprocess industry, where many of the companies in the industry are utilizing standard communication protocols to establish this consistent language, regardless as to the nuances of the individual programmers in those companies. Ultimately, as a result, instruments across a laboratory workflow like freezers, incubators, or even bioreactors can communicate and operate seamlessly. And as a benefit of this, the observations within those devices can be made across the entire digital workflow, providing information such as instrument usage, performance, and other information. And with this, endless optimizations are possible. Okay, so what you're describing sounds a lot like sort of the smart lab, you know, like our smartphones or, as you said, the smart printer of the future, right? So, well, then how will these smart labs affect how we work with data? Well, bioprocessing generates reams of data, and the ability to use this data through digitalization could be tremendously valuable. Uh, It could be done in a few ways. Artificial intelligence or a form of adaptive control mechanisms could be implemented where products help to fine tune their own process based on past performance or current run data. Through adaptive learning, products can recommend set points for optimization or accumulate internal data and predict failure based on wear and tear within an instrument. This creates opportunities to proactively recommend service even before an issue occurs. And of course, other classic run data like pH, dissolved oxygen, and agitation can also be observed collectively to establish what could be a more meaningful picture of the instrument usage. Any data collected, of course, must be maintained in a secure database to safeguard against accidental deletion or manipulation. Regulators need to be assured that the data is safe, stable, and has not been tampered with. Well, does this digitalization of our labs require that we invest more and maybe even more often in new equipment? Not necessarily. Uh, Meeting today's industry needs and tomorrow requires future-proof solutions that can evolve as the needs of the market change. For example, uh, what if a sensor is invented by a manufacturer that requires unique electronics or connectivity requirements. Rather than having to redesign the entire system electronics platform, it would be ideal to just adapt the connection points so that the sensor can be connected to the controller and digitally integrated. Eppendorf Cybario Twin Bioreactor Control System, which is part of all future Eppendorf small and bench scale devices, 
was designed with just that adaptability in mind. Well, t tell us how the Saivario twin can support even more future demand. The Saivario twin is built off Eppendorf's Visionize architecture, which is a control platform that creates a consistent user experience across all products by sharing a common information model. The Saivario twin also includes configurable bay drawers. So rather than having to buy new products as your process needs change, additional drawers can be purchased and added to existing systems to ensure adaptability. With this flexibility, the controller can be adjusted for all future needs. The goal is that once a product is purchased, any new features that become available can be added on, making it unnecessary to buy entirely new instruments for at least five to 10 years. Great. Well, are there any more trends you're looking at that could affect the lab of the future? Another trend rapidly advancing in the bioprocess field is the implementation of single-use technology. This technology offers several benefits, such as rapid turnaround between runs, reduced cleaning, increased flexibility, and generally faster deployment. Eppendorf's BioBlue product line is a single-use platform focused on elements of scalability. The BioBlue looks like a glass bioreactor and mimics the results of one, but it offers users the benefits of single-use technology. As the industry continues to adopt single-use technology, Eppendorf plans to release, release additional products, all well-suited to fit the market's evolving need. Uh, the next generation of BioFlow products will also be extended up to 2,000 liters, facilitating scale up, not only in size, but also in terms of intelligent software guidance. Transferring the knowledge from bench to production scale can be time consuming and challenging. Many engineering factors need to be considered to perform a successful scale up process. The newly developed software integrated in the BioFlow products include features such as scale up assist and auto calibration. These new features improve usability, save time, and they mitigate the risk of errors by introducing machine repeatability. Once you choose the preferred scale-up strategy in the bioreactor size, which can be between 100 milliliters and 2,000 liters, the software calculates the appropriate parameters and the process can be started immediately. Also, the software is based on a well-known BioFlow 320 platform which helps to ensure consistent user experience across all BioFlow control systems. And it allows the BioFlow 320 to be retroactively benefiting from new software introductions. Wow. Well, what advice do you have for our listeners to make sure that their labs meet today's requirements and the futures? Three simple tips. One, when evaluating bioprocess needs, make sure to consult with industry peers regarding the equipment you're looking at and their experience using it. Develop relationships with subject matter experts such as field service engineers to dig deeper and to make sure you're getting the right products for your needs. And stay connected with these experts to ensure that you're at the forefront of today's newest technologies and you know what's available and when. And regardless of what solution you adopt, the goal is to increase productivity and efficiency, giving you the added value you need to stay ahead in today's ever-changing but exciting biopharmaceutical landscape. Exciting indeed. I want to thank you for that informative overview, Richard, and we really appreciate your being here today. Kim, thanks a lot. I really enjoyed it too. Great. This has been Kim Decker, Contributing Editor for Biofarm International, and thanks to all of you for listening. You've been listening to Biofarm International's podcast, Ready for the Future, Trends in Bioprocessing. This podcast is brought to you by the Bioprocess Center of the Eppendorf AG, your expert partner for fermenter, bioreactors, and consumables for bioprocessing. To find out more, please go to www.eppendorf.com slash bioprocess.